Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 15 of our series of session on F12 configuration for voucher type. So we have been seeing the F12 configuration for voucher type intermittently between purchase voucher and also sales voucher. And also we understood that what are slight variations that are there in the purchase voucher F12 configuration and also sales voucher F12 configuration. So from this session onwards, couple of sessions, we will be covering on additional configurations that are available for purchase invoice and also sales invoice. So we will start with sales invoice and I will also point out what are the configurations that are specifically available for sales voucher under F12 and what configurations are available or not available under the purchase voucher in F12 in comparison with the sales voucher. So in this session, let's quickly see couple of options under advanced configurations. Let's go to tally and explore these options. We are in the purchase voucher. So let me press F12 configure and we have understood the simple configurations of each one of them. Now let us enable show more configuration. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to press Y for S. Okay. And what is that additional options that are now available with show more configuration? So if you notice here, you have this option called provide supplier invoice details. Now this option by default, it will be set to yes. So what is this provide supplier invoice detail? Since it is yes, let us see what information are we going to see on the face of the purchase invoice. So let me press control A. And if you notice here, we have this additional field called supplier invoice number and the date. Now this is going to be very useful for you, especially when you enable GST module, wherein you can capture the supplier invoice number detail from this field. So this is your voucher number, which is your internal running voucher number. So in case if this option or if this field is not visible to you or if it is not available for you. Now you know that you have to press F12 configure and make sure that this option show more configuration is yes. So once you make this as yes, and you will see here that provide supplier invoice detail is set to yes. Let me just quickly come here and make this as no. I'm going to press N for no enter and I'm going to press control A. And if you notice here, now the supplier invoice number field and the supplier invoice date is invisible or it is not available for you to capture that information. Okay. So press F12 configure and come to provide supplier invoice detail. Make this as yes, press control A and you will have this supplier invoice number and the date. So here quickly, whatever is the date of your voucher, Tally will automatically capture the supplier invoice date by default the date of the voucher. For example, let us say, I say the supplier invoice number is 1234, enter, and you will notice that the date gets captured automatically from the voucher date. Now, this is very important for us to understand that this date cannot be later than the voucher date. The date can be the voucher date or prior to the voucher date. It can never be later than the voucher date. Simple logic. So when you are accounting for a purchase, the purchase invoice date could be the current date, which is your current day or you might be accounting for the purchase invoice of the previous any day or a previous any date. That is how Tally will 
allow and restrict you to modify this date. For example, let us say, I will say the purchase invoice date is 16 Jan. Enter. Okay. And if you notice here, I am just pressing enter. The cursor will not move to the next field since the supplier invoice date is greater than the voucher date. So now I come back here and then let's say I am going to say it is 14th of Jan. Just enter 14th of Jan. Enter and you will see that the moment you enter the date, tally is automatically brings your cursor to the next field. So this is about the option of supplier invoice number and the supplier invoice date and the restriction related to the supplier invoice date. Let's come back to F12 configure and we saw that this option of provide supplier invoice detail, this option is available in the purchase voucher type. Now let's quickly go to sales voucher and then we will see what is the additional information that are there. So the supplier invoice number field is available only in the purchase voucher type. So I'm going to press escape. Then I'm going to move on to the sales voucher. So I can press F8 or you can click on the right hand side button bar here F8 and let us press F12 configure and we have made this show more configuration as yes. And here you will see provide reference number and date. So in the purchase, we saw provide supplier invoice number and date. And under the sales voucher type, under F12 configure, you have purchase reference number and date. Now by default, this option is going to be no. If this option is no, let us see the sales voucher. So I'm going to press control A. And if you notice here, just below your sales voucher type name, there is no field for you to capture the reference number and date. So now if you want to have an additional field for you to capture reference number and date, you have to remember to go to F12 configure and come down here and then click on this option of provide reference number and date and then press Y, enter, and I'm going to press Control A. You will now notice here the reference number field and the reference date is available to you. So what is the use case? Why do you need a reference number? So in my previous video, basically we had discussed about not using the voucher number for your billwise allocation. So similarly, the reference number field can be used by businesses to provide the detail of the customer's purchase order or any information which are relevant for you to capture here. And also by enabling this option, if you want to track this reference number for your billwise outstanding, you can use this number as part of your tracking for your outstanding, which is what we saw in our previous session. So the date again is going to be the same thing. So this is how you can make use of this a very simple option. Under sales voucher, you will have provide a reference number and date. But whereas when you come to purchase voucher, I'm going to click on purchase voucher here F9. And when I press F12 configure, you have this option called provide supplier invoice detail by making this as yes, we saw the impact. I hope by understanding these options, you might make use of these options for your organization. Though these are very simple configurations that are available, yet it will be useful under certain circumstances in your organizations. Thank you very much for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.